There's an incredibly brilliant reason why you should pour rice into a sock. What it's all about and exactly how this trick works you'll learn in this short video. The first step of course involves rice. How much you need strongly depends on the size of the sock you're using for this. Once you've set aside enough rice you can move on to the next step, which is grabbing a sock. Ideally you should choose a sock that's a bit larger. You'll see why in just a moment. Once you've got a sock, ideally you should insert a funnel into it so it's easier to fill rice without spilling too much. Start filling the sock with rice. Pour some into the funnel and make sure the rice flows all the way to the end of the sock. The sock should be filled so that you have a good ball at the bottom, depending on how large you want it and how much rice you have available. But there should be still enough space at the top to tie a knot because we don't want the rice just falling out. Pull the knot tight and the sock with rice is ready. But what can you actually do with it? For the first step you should take it to your microwave, place it inside and then run it on the highest temperature for 1 to 2 minutes. Once the microwave is done you can take out the sock, but be careful it might be hot. At least it should be reasonably warm. You can lay it on your sofa when you're lying down or you could place it in your bed. Cover it with the blanket and when you go to bed shortly after you'll have a nice warmed up bed. And really everyone likes it when they go to bed and it's already somewhat warm. So you can also use the sock if for example you have a stomach ages. And the best part is you can use it over and over again. You just need to warm it up each time. Do you want to know why you absolutely should throw hair colors into your washing machine? In the video you see on the screen now I'll show you. Click on it directly.